Well, um, uh, one of my PhD uh, students uh, gave you uh, another uh, important environmental uh, problem. Uh, it is greenhouse effect, right? So you guys now can explain uh, three of the most important environmental disaster uh, of yours. The first one is uh, good ozone depletion in stratosphere. The second one is, Chote, what is it? What was that? Ozone depletion. And then? And then? <laughs> well, was it global warming? There is some photochemical smoke, right? So that was on, um, uh, you know, production. So uh, if the uh, bad guys always disappear, no problem, right? Uh, always good guys, you know, uh, produce, uh, appear, uh, no problem. The problem is bad guys always, you know, produce and good guys always disappear. So those are problems, right? <coughs> those are problems you already know. You can explain uh, the issues, right? And then you can uh, explain it with scientific, you know, equations. And you can even give examples. And you can calculate uh, the concentration you consume using uh, chemical equations and chemical techniques, right? To your parents and to your dear growing boyfriends which is very, very important. You know? Yes, very important. You know? And then, uh, Amnol actually gave you uh, one uh, important uh, issues which related to global warming. So, so why global warming uh, can be caused, can occur? What's supposed to be the problem there? Because there are too many than usual because of too much CO2 or some kind of greenhouse gases. Mm -hmm. um, it is a little bit uh, general uh, answer. Uh, can you be uh, much more specific? Kill <laughs> me. <clears throat> what is the, uh, uh, you know, Trigger uh, for, uh, I mean, the uh, not the source side, CO2 and CFC could be the source of the uh, greenhouse right? effect. What can be the trigger? We have, uh, you know, uh, run about the uh, bunch of, you know, rights, type of rights. Those two actually uh, work with a very short way. Because they have very strong power, they can, you know, degrade very stable oxygen ozone molecule. Right. So, what is the trigger uh, of the uh, growth one? As a sense of right, was it uh, UV? Am I asking you? To <laughs> You don't understand what I'm talking. Maybe, maybe infrared light. Yes, that's what I uh, want to ask you. Yes, the the uh, the wavelength, uh, big wavelength uh, infrared can you know stay longer on the surface of the Earth, so it can cause uh, well actually hit right. So that can increase the temperature on the surface of the uh, Earth, so you guys can have a global warming. Is global warming killing you? So you don't have to worry about it, right? Because it doesn't kill you. Because, um, you know, uh, a pinch of the uh, copper uh, selfie. If I talk to uh, Michael, open your mouth and I sprinkle <laughs> by the power of Ujin Lee. It may be very, you know, you know, 
he actually <laughs> resists. But uh, compared to the uh, global warming uh, problem, uh, well, global warming is kind of uh, very slow. And uh, at first time, you, you just uh, feel very uncomfortable. Why is it so cold? Why is it so hot? Such like that. But if this type of the problem accumulates, well, we ultimately get the, uh, the very digester we cannot avoid. We cannot resist. That is the problem. You know. Well, copper sulfate, I can kill you. But the, uh, the global warming, you know, the potential, can kill all human kinds of dealers. That's supposed to be the problem. And you guys know the equations and the theory, and you guys know which one is rate limiting. So you can prevent that by removing that. Right? And then after uh, having you know, attracting uh, your aerodynamics and also uh, having you know, a very good job and having success at the top of the uh, academia, maybe after 55, maybe, you know, Beatles just to talk to you, but I'm 64. 64 is a little bit old, uh, but uh, 55, you can go to the, you know, the area of politics and then talk to the politician. Guys, this is very, very important. Do something for them to save the people. This is very important. I have a question about the world if it's the uh, <coughs> greenhouse gas that causes global warming, mm -hmm. then why in some parts of area of some parts of Earth is getting cooler and cooler while the other parts getting hotter? Yeah, well, uh, so uh, we would better say a climate change. Yeah, global warming. Well, sometimes we can feel it is cold. It is already you know uh, springtime. Why cold? So is it a global you know not warming? you know, getting cold. So we can, we would better say, uh, climate change. You know. Well, uh, for your uh, question, um, some uh, Canadian uh, scientists uh, actually uh, uh, hypothesize. There is very big you know, current under the sea, and the current actually, the tide, the cooling tide, and the uh, cooler tide, and the hot tide, well, the movement is a little bit different. So, uh, you know, uh, some places getting cold and some places getting, you know, uh, hotter. So we call it La Nina and we call it, you know, what is other? El Nino. El Nino, right? So uh, we can have global warming, you know, getting cold area. <coughs> so we uh, actually uh, call it, you know, in general, climate change. So just don't talk to the people why global warming, now we have very cold in the weather. That is very stupid, you know, uh, question. Got that? So a uh, climate change problem. Global warming is a part of the climate change problem. All right, I think um, uh, my PhD student uh, gave you a very wonderful talk. So uh, most of you fully understand uh, the theories and the issues. Um, if you have any further uh, question, you guys can ask me, all right? Now, uh, I'd like to move uh, another uh, interesting, I cannot say interesting, but to the uh, bold people, um, uh, environmental uh, uh, problem. Well, actually, this is not the environmental problem. Well, think about that. Is it, Junte, I just asked to Junte, uh, what is the pH of the rainwater? Pure rainwater. He said uh, it's around the uh, five point something. But that's right. Uh, you know, in the long run, if we contaminate with salt uh, sulfur, contaminate with used to the paper, right? Uh, well, my recommendation, if you really, really have, you know, uh, study, uh, and because you need to actually 
have the exam, maybe a couple of uh, hours later, just don't attend here. Go to the library. Or if you don't have any homework assignment, it should be sent uh, to the professor 30 minutes later. Why you stay here? Go library and then study. That's very stupid, you know. If you, once you stay here, you just enjoy my show. Do you think so, Adika, right? Just enjoy my show. If you don't get prepared to enjoy my show, just don't come here. That is very rude thing. Very rude. All right? So don't slip. If you really want to, you know, get tired. No, no. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> don't get tired of my press. If you're tired, just go to the dormitory and have some sweat. That's better you know, for your study, research, and for your life. Even for your professor. Got it? So, uh, well, if, he, if we contaminate uh, the atmosphere with sulfur, maybe uh, the usual sulfur concentration is 0.05 uh, uh, something ppm. Uh, let's say ppm. If we contaminate with uh, 0.1 ppm a sulfur, how sulfur can cause the acidity <coughs> of rainwater? <coughs> Well, CO2 can cause uh, acidity, right? This is the reason why we, uh, you know, uh, drink Coca-Cola much. You cannot have very good you know, taste. And uh, that is the reason why the uh, polar bear actually doesn't have good taste. You know. They live with Coca-Cola. <laughs> um, because the acidity actually can destroy the structure of the teeth, actually. Surfer? If the surfer meets with water, what happens? Do you know surfer? It is very stinky in you know, the gas. The rotten egg gas. If you put mm -hmm. it into the water, what happens? Mm -hmm. What acid? <laughs> what acid? Hydrous. Yeah, we, we generally call it uh, sulfuric acid. Uh, for the, if we uh, put it chlorine there, it is hydrochloric acid. If we uh, put it uh, nitrous oxide and nitrogen uh, species, we can have nitric acid. So it can cause acid. So if we just uh, contaminate uh, the air with the sulfur, uh, we actually can you know, drop down the concentration, I mean, the acidity, pH of the rainwater, then maybe around the 5 point, 5 point, you know, 5.3 or 2. It is just 0 0.3 difference or 0 0.2 difference. Was it significant? God made rainwater of which pH is around the 5 point, you know, 6. God made it. Why? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Why got made uh, rainwater pH 5.6? There have been any other uh, comments on there? There may be some, you know, uh, reason, right? But, you know, humankind actually contaminates tears with sulfur, you know, uh, chemical. Although we just uh, contaminate the, uh, the atmosphere with sulfur, the rainwater just uh, dropped uh, by 0.3. So uh, contaminated rainwater is around the 5.2 or 5.3. Was it significantly different? I mean, uh, if some board guy complained, the industrial guy contaminates uh, the rainwater, so the rainwater pH just dropped down uh, by 0.3. So that is the reason I, you know, I am getting lose my hair. Can you say it like that? 0.3 difference can 
make heroes. Do you think um, 0 0.3 difference uh, can make you very, you know, uh, different uh, lifestyle? I mean, does that can kill you? Uh, you don't think so, right? So, think about that. Uh, what about the uh, seawater? Well, seawater nowadays, you know, the coral and the, uh, the starfish actually, you know, uh, thrive because, uh, you know, the global warming thing, uh, the plants, sea plants actually cannot, you know, thrive at uh, higher temperature. The water difference is, is it uh, or just like the five Celsius degree? Uh, it is just a difference of 0 .0 0 0.5 Celsius degree. If you change 0 0.5 Celsius degree, all the sea plants can be dead. And then the starfish actually, you know, can thrive. And you cannot have good fishes, you know. Only difference 0 0.5. You know, so if you change the acidity of the sea, Let's say the acidity of the sea is 6.6, .6, let's say. So if you change it to 6.0, what happens? You cannot imagine that, actually. Most of the uh, you know, sea plants or sea animals can be that. So that is a very, very significant problem. And also, think about that. How much amount of chemicals can be added to reduce 0 0.5, you know, pH. <coughs> Is it just like the, uh, uh, the case I gave him, pinch of the uh, copper sulfate, open your mouth uh, case? That is totally different, you know. Because uh, the earth, atmosphere, sea, well, they have the, uh, their own uh, buffer system. What is buffer again? Buffer? I, I just want to ask a uh, chemistry major, Jim, what do you think about uh, buffer? Buffer, what is buffer? It's something that blocks from pH mm -hmm. change. Like, okay. um, so this chemical will either produce acid or base to, like, to go the opposite way as what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it is much more like you know, chemistry than your students. You know, uh, anyway, uh, if sand has buffer, uh, what does that mean? Uh, you know, in literal, he is very buffering guy. So that means he has kind of pages, right? Uh, somebody just punch him, and somebody just uh, picking him. He never ever angry and mad at that situation, right? <laughs> so that is buffer. Uh, in car, we uh, call it not buffer, bumper. The same thing. It just uh, shock the, uh, uh, absorb the shock, and uh, doesn't you know pay it back to other suit actually. So sometimes the chemical carbonate, or carbonate, bicarbonate, uh, and also phosphate can uh, play such kind of role to resist uh, the invasion of acid or invasion of base so that the system can be you know, sustained. So your body actually uh, you know, filled with very buffering system. So if your you know, uh, your body temperature and your uh, pH of your uh, body cannot be easily you know, changed. Let's say uh, the body temperature increased uh, by three. Well, you can get killed. Think about that. The chemical 
microbiochemical called virus, flu, influenza, but take your body and interrupt your, you know, uh, body system. So your body temperature can increase. That is some um, very strong chemical, you know, to, uh, you know, uh, make mass uh, on your uh, buffering system. That is very, very important. So sometimes uh, the pharmaceutical chemical, what is the pharmaceutical chemical? Drug, right? Medicine, right? Can actually rebounce back to a uh, good buffer system of yours. That is what the uh, pharmaceutical chemicals uh, usually do. Well, sometimes it kills in the jump. Mostly, it uh, can recover your upper system. Well, that is very, very important. So why I'm just talking about the, uh, the buffer? Uh, CO2. Is CO2 bad guy? Okay, again. Is CO2 <coughs> bad guy? No. So is CO2 good guy? It's good and it's more like it's needed, but it's mm -hmm. a lot. So why all the people hate nowadays CO2? This is very stupid thing. If you just uh, you know, stop CO2 production, what happens is all the humankind can get killed. You cannot get lice, you cannot get plants, you cannot even get you know fishes, or you cannot get the uh, you know all the freshes you want. So, what's supposed to be the problem? As she said. If the amount is a little bit extra, the amount is a little bit less, people start to complain. If you just uh, take it out a little bit more, and then add a little bit more, most of the people here can be dead. I really mean that. Just look at the, uh, this you know, simple. Because CO2, as I already talked, CO2 can cause acidity, right? So CO2, uh, most of the people think about the rainwater is, the pH is around 7. But uh, CO2, in the atmosphere, there are a you know, bunch of CO2 uh, you know, uh, around. So it can, CO2 can be dissolved on uh, rainwater. So it can cause actually acidity, uh, carbonic acid, and uh, this can be uh, the reason why we can have acid rain. The pure water, the pure water made by God itself is, you know, acidic rainwater. That's it. But I will give you, uh, next time, I will give you another uh, example when we, uh, you know, just uh, uh, contaminate our planet with surfer or planet with other NOx. The concentration is a little bit more, you know. So now, actually, complaining, uh, you contaminate. So my hair actually getting bald. You know, such kind of very serious problem. All right. Uh, CO2 equilibria. Equilibria and equilibrium, right? There is two type of rotten. Uh. <coughs> What's the difference these two? Visual. I is uh, plural. Um is singular. So equilibrium, that is single equilibrium of the system, one system. Equilibria means uh, the equilibriums of total systems, the difference. So uh, sometimes, you know, uh, the Americans are very, uh, I cannot say, it's not in Americans here. 
<laughs> they are very stupid, actually. Um, <laughs> they actually make, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, when I uh, taught uh, Indiana University students, uh, it was the same, you know, uh, material. And I just asked, what is the uh, singular, uh, what is the uh, plural uh, type of the equilibrium? They, 99.5% of people say equilibrium z. <laughs> You are so, so. <laughs> but the important thing is, uh, I just, uh, some, somebody just uh, raised their hand. Um, and then, well, professor, you're wrong. If you check the uh, Wikipedia or any other dictionary, the proof of the uh, equilibrium, equilibrium z, uh, I never ever, you know, uh, take that, uh, you know, uh, suggestion right. But I just uh, get back to my office and then check it, uh, Wikipedia and also dictionary. <laughs> Interesting thing is, uh, they are also using you know uh, equilibrium as a plural. That means uh, they are making it. Uh, but the uh, well-known man, as a well-known man, I uh, never ever uh, take this one as a you know uh, plural type. This is just a you know, single. Equilibrium um, and equilibrium a is plural. And also, have you ever uh, heard about a septa, septum? What is septa? The reed. Reed of the uh, uh, sun you know, bottles. We call it uh, septum. And septum is one in the lid, and septa is in you know, multiple lids. And also, uh, you guys heard about uh, curriculum. Uh, curricula, right? The differences. Well, anyway, so uh, CO2 equilibrium uh, in all uh, environmental phases, we call it a CO2 equilibrium. Because CO2 can exist as gas, and CO2 exists as dissolved in a solution, and CO2 exists as solid. Call it? Higan? Dry eyes, right? Uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there. Okay. And also, uh, CO two hydrate uh, could be uh, very, you know, potential form, solid form of the uh, uh, CO two. So uh, CO two can exist as multiple phase. So we just want to know the equilibrium of each phases. That is very, very important. So uh, the motivation uh, for this study, uh, CO2 equilibria is in part to understand the effect of trace gases in the atmosphere on the acidity. As I already talked, uh, you actually breathe uh, most of the nitrogen and most of the CO2 and most of the uh, you know, oxygen. So uh, the water, if you just spray the water, actually the water, uh, in the water, CO2 can be dissolved. But uh, the, the amount is very low. But uh, I learned them. Uh, well, for the humankind, CO2 dissolution uh, in water may be very low. But the uh, ants or maybe other living life, those you know, uh, dissolution could be very very strong. So, well, anyway, we just want to know to calculate the, the acidity pH of the lake. Uh, acid rain has a big problem of national and international scope because it can actually, you know, uh, damage the crops and also it can damage the uh, the bolt guy actually. So that is very very important thing. <laughs> uh, so our approach will actually we will do the same thing. We just uh, you know uh, hypothesize very significant chemical equation and then we set up a mass balance, you know, chaotic, uh, you know an equilibrium model, and then we want to calculate the concentration of H. <coughs> if you can calculate uh, the uh, concentration of H, you can actually uh, you know, know the pH, actually. Uh, well, everybody knows uh, the P is minus one, right? Jute, do you already know that? P means minus P. Absolutely. Minus one. Really? Right, maybe. <laughs> All right, uh, well, here, H is the concentration. Well, you know, you, you should know about this. 
In real uh, chemical system, as a concentration term, uh, we actually didn't use this concentration. We are actually use the activity. We should use this one. But uh, this is very you know, unconvenient because they always you know uh, the coefficient gamma and multiplies the concentration actually. So we assume this one is one as a reference you know uh, situation environment, and then we use uh, activity uh, concentration as an activity, right? Uh, Okay, so uh, this one. And then uh, log refers uh, minus uh, here, uh, the common base 10 log of them, logarithm. Uh, this is not the uh, natural log. Uh, because, as, uh, you know, this is just for the uh, uh, some general uh, seniors uh, who is majoring in the uh, uh, environmental science uh, and also uh, liberal arts. Uh, they are uh, mostly my guests, actually. And then, I really don't know, they are very weak at uh, the, uh, the mathematics. So I always put some this kind of you know, abundant, I mean, uh, not necessary things, so we don't have to use this. So, <laughs> if you put P anything, and you can have just like this. Uh, this notation is way of uh, avoiding why we want to use P, you know. Because if you are using the concentration 10 to minus 0 point something, something, something like that, it is very long way. So if you just put P and P canceling out uh, 10, and then you can have the right, you know, digits. That's uh, why we want to use P here. Uh, PKA, uh, this is the same thing. What is Ka? Well, as a way of small k is canic ray constant. And large k is equilibrium. Well, you know, small k is A uh, plus B equals C. Here, we want to know the concentration change with respect to time. So in this case, we just put it this over bit A equals minus K A uh, like this. So, uh, this is related to kinetics. But what is K? K is equilibrium. So, here K is actually like this. Oh, well, actually, this is not the right one. This is gamma C, C, gamma A, A, gamma B, B like this. But uh, let's uh, just assume all the gamma is uh, number one. So we can use this. So what's supposed to be the uh, different? Big K and small K. This is Big K. That's more key. Well, uh, do you guys want to use BK? Well, do you want to use a big K? Which is uh, equal to constant. Okay, think about that. Uh, the major, <laughs> chemistry major, senior. Yes. Uh, I think I'm, I'm giving you the question. <laughs> the answer is. Yes, I want to use. Where? To calculate concentrations. Uh, to calculate. Concentrations. Concentration. Uh, is it? Uh, in the middle of the reaction concentration or at the end concentration? At the end. Yeah, uh, that is what I want. And so I want to talk to you guys. <coughs> this is the reaction. So we just want to know 
uh, the concentration of A with respect to time T, right? So the concentration actually, uh, let's say, uh, D rate like this. So as I write down to you, uh, the reaction actually divided by three categories. Well, at first time here, the zone A, actually, so A, the concentration, if you want to calculate the concentration of A, you really need to use this equation, right? Because you want to know the concentration of A with respect to time T. So this is uh, what K is. And then here, the concentration A, actually, there is no change. It just entering into the equilibrium area. So uh, from here, if you give a bunch of you know time, well, there's no change. Actually. Think about that. You are actually in the middle of the chaotic of your lifetime because you're changing. After death, with your gut, that is the equal. Right. Everything can be changed. That is equally. So here, you don't want to use this equation. Why? This one cannot give you any exact solution. But this one, it is already determined. Right? So, equilibrium is like this. And one more thing uh, to distinguish equilibrium and chaotic is, uh, think about this. If you uh, run, at first time, you can feel uh, it is just like you are running uh, in the hell, right? Very, very yellow. It's very, very tiring, and it's very, very yellow. It's just like pain. But if you just uh, run maybe a couple of minutes, or uh, it could be different, you know, to man to man. But you can feel a little bit comfortable after five or six minutes. Later. So your body system actually reach equilibrium, right? So uh, for the uh, you know uh, athletes, sprinter, and the marathon, the tactic is totally different. How to make equilibrium time. For the uh, sprinter, they really uh, need to make their equilibrium time very fast. You see? They just want to, you know, run the uh, 100 meter. So uh, if he want to make their uh, equilibrium in one minute or one hour, the game is over. What about the uh, marathon? If the marathon, well, if he is a uh, Hong Juri, he merely want to make an equilibrium time a little bit longer, right? So if he want, if he just make uh, his equilibrium time in one minute, what happens is his energy just, you know, exhausted. So he cannot make 42.196 kilometer, actually. So that is the difference between equilibrium and carry. So the difference is very, very important. You always really need to understand the difference between chaotic and equilibrium. Because that could be one potential answer, logo, uh, question for the meter. Right. Uh, well, anyway, so uh, this is the reason why you always want to use P as a uh, uh, And then uh, this is the equilibrium uh, expression. A plus B goes uh, C plus D. Uh, well, actually, C plus D and also goes to the A plus B. This, this is a kind of uh, different you know, uh, equilibrium concept. Uh, we call it dynamic equilibrium. So uh, at equilibrium state, uh, you know, reaction and liberation, the irreversible reaction can occur at the same time. This is very, very important. But you guys can ask me, but professor, you just talked to me 
the deceased, uh, the dead, uh, you know, uh, situation is the equilibrium. So does that mean, uh, you know, the dead people can be a zombie, zombie, you know? So uh, it is just like the, uh, you know, because uh, liver spirit and illiberal spirit reaction can, you know, occur together. Uh, well, uh, my understanding is, uh, although your body is actually uh, gone away, or your spirit can, you know, alive. So it is just kind of, you know, I learned you know, that uh, theory can follow uh, mass, you know, uh, you know, law by Newton. But anyway, uh, I believe the. Uh, all right, so uh, uh, you can have K, uh, the concentration products divided by uh, uh, the concentration product of the uh, reactant. This is what uh, equilibrium constant uh, defined. Uh, K value is usually, usually small, so you want to uh, put the P, so you can have uh, uh, you know, short uh, digits here. And also uh, H2O case. Uh, this is uh, 10 to minus 14, so we usually uh, we use kW, and which is 14.0. Uh, so there are many types of uh, equilibrium constant. You guys know, uh, you guys know uh, kW and ksp. What is ksp? Solubility product. If you are using solid. Uh, with water, and you can have uh, K value. The solid actually activity is usually one, so you cannot have actually, uh, you know, uh, the products uh, uh, A B case. So uh, K could be easily uh, C D like this. And uh, later, you can have a uh, Halley's law constant. Uh, Halley's law constant is also an uh, equilibrium constant. And also, uh, partitioning uh, constants are the uh, most of the uh, equilibrium constant. Uh, lastly, uh, define the Halley's law constant as a ratio of the equilibrium concentration. So, uh, what is the Halley's law? Halley's law. This is very very important for the environmental scientist. You really really need to know very well if you really want to be an environmental scientist and engineer. What is that? Yeah. Yes. You stupid. Mm. Some unsolvable gases mm. give twice pressure. It's so. It is so. 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 Break this over there. Have, have any uh, comments, different comments? Oh man, you are breaking my heart. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> this is water. Nice cup of water. Maybe the case I will give most of the guys hate, actually. Guys usually hate the tea. And if you just uh, uh, put it uh, one nice patch of chamomile or jasmine, and put it, this is very look and warm water, and then put it in here, and giving it, uh, and also uh, to say the, uh, the good smell, you close the uh, uh, this cup as, uh, for using lid. And then give a couple of minutes. What happened is the very good smell of jasmine or chamomile actually produced. Right. 
So uh, I love it now. Um, Henley. Uh, <coughs> how do you call it in French? Yeah. <laughs> Good. This <laughs> army, uh, French or? Uh, uh, it could be a small British name. Right. So I think Henry is a British chemist. Uh, so he uh, just wanted to calculate the ratio at equilibrium. Uh, the set of the common line. <coughs> Let's say uh, easily, just me. The concentration of gas phase, just me, divided by the concentration of just me, smell, and water. This is what Henry did at equilibrium. Why is this so important? Uh, this is very nice case, but uh, just change the environmental boundary a little bit. Let's say this water is a Tan Peninsula, seawater. Just take it out this portion. And then uh, three or four years ago, the Samsung, uh, you know, uh, stupid, you know, uh, industry actually did a very cruel cool thing. The oil tanker actually ran down, and uh, you know, tons of, really tons of the uh, crude oil actually sink down, sink down hmm, at the sea water bottom. The crude oil actually includes a bunch of different oil. Well, if you uh, refine the crude oil, you can have diesel fuel, and you can have gasoline, and you can have a bunch of different ones. So if you just put it here, maybe 90% of the uh, crude oil sink down. And some of the oil actually emitted outside. Right? So all the people in Korea, even international students, went there and do something to save Korea, actually, at that time. What happened is, uh, during fifth months, you know, the people there always you know, did the demonstration, <coughs> but <coughs> six more months just passed. Nobody wanted to talk about the the peninsula you know, contamination. And then the government and the people there, the Koreans' effort, and even international you know, uh, people's efforts, the contaminants gone. Is that true? Is it really true? I really don't think so. In my calculation, at the bottom, Maybe 60 or 70 percent sometime. Well, uh, you guys can uh, think a little bit positively. Well, it can be sunk down, and then the sediment, you know, uh, actually, you know, just uh, uh, accumulates again. Maybe our, you know, uh, kids, 1,000 years later, they can find it as a oil well. <laughs> but. If you are an environmental chemist, environmental scientist, you really want to calculate, measure the concentration at the water, at the sediment, and the amount emitted to the air. <coughs> if you are using this Henry's law, <coughs> you can calculate the amount emitted to the air. It is around the 7.5% of total level. And also using uh, this type, this type of the uh, uh, equilibrium constant, you can calculate all of the, you know, uh, crude oil in the sea. As I already talked, this is 65 to uh, less than the 45 percent, uh, greater than the 45 percent, exists uh, in the tail area. I uh, really want to 
our, you know, it's 100 to 1,000 meter uh, pint as a new pole well. But uh, U.S. Be become to know what happened there. Or the fishes were eating uh, copy of fully contaminated with the uh, uh, oil. Although uh, the, those are very small amount. Anyway. So uh, I will use this Helix law constant maybe uh, several times uh, by the end of this you know, press time with this coach. Well, anyway. uh, okay, I think um, this is, I uh, talked too much about the very simple basic things, but uh, I think um, uh, next week you will have quite a time. Is it right? No, 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 be a well, actually, um, I'm really... Be a tongue. Don't make a physical face on me. <laughs> so, uh, well, I think, I think about that. Uh, well, there are two types of the uh, question. Uh, the first uh, one is calculation. So, most of the calculation comes from uh, your, you know, homework assignments. Uh, it could be very similar. Uh, I think um, my uh, assistant will uh, already, you know, uh, uh, check the, uh, your uh, homework assignment, so uh, she can, uh, I can actually return back to you uh, at last uh, Friday, by Friday. And then, other part is kind of, uh, you know, uh, asking the concept, asking the, uh, the issues, and asking the uh, what's supposed to be the problem, and then uh, recommend your decision to save the world or to prevent the uh, environmental disaster. Or I can ask you um, the theories. What is the main reaction mechanism of the natural disaster? So that could be focused on the chapter three, uh, chapter uh, you know, four, uh, three and, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, it covers uh, all the uh, chapters uh, by Friday, and the calculation uh, only for the one to three. All right? Any questions? Any comments? Okay. Mike. Will you use the question answer slide just like you did in the homework? Uh, well, <laughs> well, as I already talk, uh, I cannot give you the solution, but. Uh, I think um, uh, uh, the uh, you know assistant uh, actually uh, making great and then uh, put some comments in case you uh, don't have you know uh, answer. Actually. So that could be very helpful. And also, if you really have uh, any question uh, related homework assignment and also uh, anything, you guys can come over to my office. And you guys can uh, ask assistant uh, to have you know, another makeup press uh, for the exam. And um, I think I'm, I already talked to you. Uh, it is very easy. If you really uh, do your homework uh, for yourself, and you can solve the problem. And if you really enjoy my show, you can have cookery. That's what I want. Right? Can we use calculator? Definitely. <coughs> Anything else? Yeah. When is the due for the third homework? Third homework. I think I'm, uh, I just put it uh, last uh, Friday, so either start uh, from uh, Monday. Oh, that is very, very important. So, you guys can, uh, you guys can have two weeks, so that uh, exceeds the uh, Well, uh, two weeks actually. So uh, uh, next April, maybe April second. Second. In that case, I cannot give you <coughs> calculation uh, problems, you know, in chapter three because I cannot uh, return back to you. So the only homework assignment I can return back to you is chapter one and chapter two. So uh, uh, for the uh, calculation exam, 
uh, well, I will, uh, you know, uh, use the uh, chapter one and chapter two. Alright? <laughs> 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 Bigger uh, lunch. Right. And any uh, concept uh, of your sticking problem, uh, it covers uh, one, two, chapter one, two, four. Alright, thanks. <laughs> Thank you.